Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. We're here at Congress in Co-Israel in Brooklyn, New York, and we're at POW, Jewish Common Art and Influence Art Exhibit. And this weekend is Jewish Comic Con. And everyone connects to comics differently. Myself, I have my fun.com suit, which I can wear on Shabbat, and still love my, shows my love for comics uh, in my suit. And uh, what a lot of people don't know is um, there's a lot of Jewish values in comics. So we're going to learn more about this art exhibit in Jewish Comic Con. Let's take a closer look. Creating an art show uh, around comics is interesting. And having a Jewish vibe to it is, uh, you know, dynamic. Thank so, you. so tell us a little bit about this art show and Brooklyn Comic Con. Okay, well, um, Brooklyn Comic Con and this art show are connected with Jewish Comic Con. It's all one big show. We're starting out tonight with the question, and hopefully we answer it on, with Comic-Con. Basically, what's the Jewish influence on comic and fine art? And if you look around, we have 35 artists, some from all over the world, somehow in one way or another, inspired by Kirby and Lee and Bob Kane. Um, and on Sunday, we have Jewish Comic-Con. We have 20 different panelists. We have an artist, Sally. Um, it's called Voices of Freedom, and we're going to go into um, detail on many panels, a very fun, lighthearted way, um, to learn all about, you know, truth, justice, and the American way, and the Jewish, in, you know, influence of that. What a lot of people don't know is that there is a lot of Jewish history uh, in, in comics, and a lot of themes, even like with Superman coming out of the Holocaust, and you know how the artists oh, yeah. lo looked at it and said, "We need something sort of to bring us out of this depression." And how can we view this? And and even with Spider-Man in, in Queens and, and understanding how uh, this all looks. Even Wakanda, where they talk about it's almost like a an Israel type of understanding. Uh, how do you view Jew like Jewish values in comics? You know. Basically, it goes back to truth, justice, and the American way, and tikkun olam, and, and doing right, and doing uh, charitable, and doing mitzvahs. And in many ways, I guess when comic artists were looking for their ideas, they looked inward. They looked at what they knew. They looked at the Ten Commandments and whatever the rabbi was talking about in shul, and daydreamed about a guy who flew off and did many miracles, right? And how did you come up with Jewish Comic Con? What was the question? How did you come up? How did you come up with Jewish Comic Con? Okay, Jewish Comic Con came up the way all great super ideas come up. It involved sh liquor. Um, it was um, at Kiddush downstairs at Congregation Kol Israel here, um, and um, an artist came up to me, and his name is Fabrice Sapolsky, who will be here on Sunday. And um, Fabrice um, mentioned that he's an artist, and I said, great, we have an art gallery. Maybe you want to get involved. I asked, what kind of art do you do? And he's basically, oh, I draw, I draw Spider-Man. And I'm like, really? And I said, I asked him about showing his art. He said, look, it's never been done. Let's do a Ju Jewish Comic-Con. Developing uh, an art exhibit, it's sometimes uh, challenging, but always exciting. So tell us a little bit about your organization uh, and how you bring art to the forefront. Uh, the organization is the Jewish Art Salon. Uh, it started 10 years ago with um, just a group of artists locally in Manhattan. And we just wanted to get together and talk about the Jewish themes in our art. But it quickly ballooned into something different altogether because our curators wanted to join us, our writers. So um, very soon it became a much larger group and then it became an international group. So now we are in four or five different uh, continents. We are the largest Jewish visual art organization in the world. And it's run by artists, for artists primarily. And yes, it is very exciting to come up with these themes that are very current in the world right now. We don't just show, you know, like uh, Jewish subject matter. It's like really like what is really 
occurring in the world right now and how can we see that through a Jewish lens and how can we express that and then to bring that to the community not just the Jewish community but also the community at large you know non-Jews and it's an education for everybody because Jewish people quite often don't realize how much interesting and exciting contemporary art is being made in the world. They really think Chagall is it. It's like I said, a major learning uh, curve. And non-Jews, they learn about Jewish customs, Jewish rituals, Jewish ways of thinking. So it's very interesting for them too. So tonight is celebrating uh, Jewish and comics. And tell us a little bit about like how this all came together. Well, um, one of our founding members is Joel Silverstein, and we, his love is comics. We had shown in this gallery before, we were the very first exhibition in this uh, space two years ago, uh, at the invitation of the president. So when they were going to do the Jewish Comic Con, they came up with the idea like, let's do an art exhibition at the same time. So that's how we got involved, and that's how Joel and Goldie and Josh started uh, curating the exhibit. This event is uh, really interesting as it brings different types of uh, understandings of how comics are influenced by uh, Jewish values. So as a curator and artist, talk about your experience in sort of putting this uh, gallery together. Okay, do you want the cold hard facts? I mean, we have a submission software that we use to collect data and artist information, and then there's a curation process in which we select works that we think are in line with the theme and in line with the aesthetics of what we want to put together. And, and now here it is. As a creator of, uh, of Jewish comics, what, what actually inspired you to sort of go into the, you know, creating Jewish comics? Well, like I said when I was talking earlier, it has to come from within you. Uh, I grew up with comics. I also grew up with synagogue, and, you know, my best friend was the uh, canner's son who would read a Star Trek book in between the Siddur. So that was kind of what I grew up around. So when you want to say, well, you decide to be an artist, what do you want to make? Um, I decided I wanted to make Jewish stuff, not because I decided it, because that's what came out of me. Um, and specifically, what's the best way to talk about Jewish stuff that I cared about? current events, things like that. I grew up with the comic book culture, so comic books was a natural. The fact that nobody was doing things about Jewish issues or Israel or current events outside of maybe Holocaust awareness or outside of um, Hanukkah was, was, was a, it's a dismay on Marvel and DC that to not really develop just more broad characters. And so I took it upon myself to do it. I have a deep love of Captain America and patriotism in comics. I named my character Magen, which in Hebrew means a shield. The shield was actually the first superhero that was patriotic, created by Irv Novik, a Jew. And later on, Captain America came. Um, and that's where my comic book comes from. In this show, you see really um, the different aspects. You see the superhero aspect, which is purely American. It's the us against the Nazis, us promoting democracy, us standing for what's right in the world, Batman, Captain America, Superman. And then you have some of the alternate comics or some of the art influence comics, which deal with where are we today, who am I, um, what are some of the issues that I want to talk about that come from within. And it just happens to be that we focused on Jewish content work from the spectrum of Jewish content. Did anything surprise you as you were curating uh, this art? We had arguments. Um, oh, yes, oh, we, have, we definitely do. We had arguments. We didn't always agree over content of things. Um, we have someone on the left on the curatorial team and somebody more on the right. I'm not going to name names, but there were uh, a few disagreements. We were able to resolve everything in the end, though. And we, we had the centered voice of reason. Yes. Um, yeah, and everything worked out in the end. As you walk through the, the exhibit, you definitely see different types of themes. Was there any types of sort of themes that you were looking to sort of bring to the public? Well, the first, my background is in the superhero stuff. So it was important to me that when you put on a comic book show, 
that the theme of patriotism, Americanism, democracy, fighting for what's right was an aspect of it. But then, like I said, there was also this, this other part of the comics, the more artistic side, the self-referential side, the um, exploring inwardly what are some of the issues, and not really always going along with what might be the popular concept or the popular argument. We have a piece downstairs that talks about um, secular Judaism and religious Judaism, and it goes back and forth, and they almost ridicule and satire each other. We have pieces like Goldie's piece, which is based on um, her um, reflection on Mao's, which was an Art Spiegelman book about the Holocaust, and it was her reflections on it in sculpture. So it was important, at least for us, that everything be spread to all different areas. Yeah, I think that we have, um, like, I guess kind of what we thought about was that we had work submitted that were of ex different, they went to different extremes. And to have those all in the same exhibit, to have things that have such like radically different voices um, really makes it kind of a cohesive exhibit in a way. How did you pick sort of the title for your comic? <laughs> the title, I have to say, was kind of pushed along by me. Um, I, I do a lot of um, word searching. I do a lot of like, what are people going to type in? And it was purely based on that. Um, it was what are the keywords? Jewish, comic, art needed needed to be in it, and I like fought for it. Yeah. So I, I originally had said said proposed an idea of making up like a Yiddish sounding word to give it some kind of Jewish identity. So everything's for bringing for fur for fur for fur. So what's what's what sounds really Jewish? but also really comic book. And I combined Wolverine's sound effect when he pops his claws to snicked with fur. So I originally said, we should call it fur snicked. And I figured that sounds really like Yiddish, but it's really Wolverine popping his claws. Um, but then I was like, no, it needs to really be clear. Jewish comic art, we really need to focus on it. And then we added an influence and that kind of stuff came after. Where do you see sort of the Jewish comic art going in the next couple of years? Well, my wish fulfillment is we have a lot of things being done in graphic novels, which are um, a writer gets together, he writes, he does uh, either hires an artist or whatever, and they come out with a book, and that's the finite thing. What I want to see is a continual series. I want to see something where you can go down to maybe not the pharmacy anymore, but something that's very regular that comes out that just happens to be Jewish. And that way the focus isn't just, oh, it's Jewish, but that it's just a hero that everybody can enjoy or a book that everybody can enjoy that has Jewish content that just kind of is there.